told and illustrated by Esper Sobolkin. <laughs> Caps for Sale, a tale of a peddler, some monkeys, and their monkey business. Once there was a peddler who sold caps, but he was not like an ordinary peddler, carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head. First he had on his own checked cap, then a bunch of gray caps, then a bunch of brown caps, then a bunch of blue caps, and on the very top, a bunch of red caps. He walked up and down the street, holding himself very straight, so as not to upset his caps. As he went along, he called, Caps for sale! Caps for sale! Fifty cents a cap! One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. Nobody wanted even a red cap. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, he said. And he walked out of town, slowly, slowly, so as not to upset his caps. He walked for a very long time, until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, he thought. So he went to sleep. He slept for a long time. When he awoke, he was refreshed and rested. But before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. All he felt was his own checked cap. He looked to the right of him, no caps. He looked to the left of him, no caps. He looked in back of him, no caps. Then he looked up into the tree, and what do you think he saw? On every branch sat a monkey. On every monkey was a gray or a brown or a blue or a red cap. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking his finger at them. You give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, <laughs> This made the peddler angry. So he shook both hands at them and said, You monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook both their hands back at him and said, <laughs> Now he felt quite angry. He stamped his foot and he said, You monkeys, you, you better give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped their feet back at him and said, <laughs> At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap, threw it on the ground, and began to walk away. But then, each monkey pulled off his own cap, and all the gray caps, and all the brown caps, and all the blue caps, and all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. And slowly, slowly, he walked back to town calling, Caps for sale! Caps for sale! Fifty cents a cap! The end. <laughs>